Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I am here to bring you a video showing you my current face washing routine. I get questions all the time about what my skincare is, that my skin looks so great, and what do I do? I just turned 50, and I honestly, I don't have a super fancy or expensive skincare regimen, but I have been doing something lately that I think has made a huge difference in my skin on my face. So I thought I'd come and just share it with you guys as uh, just one more point of information that might help you as you're looking to maybe change up your routine. So if you want to know more about what I, how I wash my face every night and take my makeup off, then stick around and I'll show you. So I'm assuming most of you watching this video are wig sisters who've seen me do wig reviews and that's the main reason why you're here. But if you're new to my channel, I just want to give you a little background on me before I dive into this and take all of my makeup off for you guys on camera. So I'm a wig wearer and I've been wearing wigs for the past three, and it's a little over three years. And I do uh, wig videos. I do lots of wig reviews, tutorials, tips, and um, wig chats, hair loss chats, all of that. And in the past year or so, I've had the opportunity to start doing some different videos, some uh, getting to review some different products and showing some different things and that's been super fun I mean my heart is always with my wigs and my wig sisters but I love it when I get to show you guys some different things as well and I do get asked all the time what makeup do I use what skincare products do I use and I just have to tell you guys I'm really blessed with great skin on my face not really on the rest of me but um, you know just youthful looking skin I think it's just in the jeans because I honestly don't use anything expensive I don't actually stick with the same products all the time um, I buy what's on sale and so I definitely am kind of boring when it comes to that but over the past uh, month or so I've started to do something a little different and I love what it's doing for my skin so I wanted to show it to you and I am really excited about one of the products I'm going to show you because I am partnering with SkinStore.com. Yes, I've already put out a couple of videos. They've got a big Black Friday sale right now. And so they allowed me to get a few products to show to everybody to try and show. I'm never just going to sell. I'm not trying to sell you guys a product. I am trying to provide you helpful information though. If it's a product that speaks to you and, and is something that you think will benefit you, then I want to be able to give you good information so you can make an informed decision. That's really why I do these videos. Sometimes I'll just bring you a product that I love um, with you know no benefit to me but to help you guys. This though was exciting because I had tried a product that I have fallen in love with actually for my removing my eye makeup and skin store has it on sale and I think there might be even an additional discount available. I'm going to tell you guys all the details in the description box of this video. So expand the description box right below and you'll find a link to this product, which I'll tell you about. And if there is an additional discount over and above the sale price for the Black Friday sale that they already have, then I'll include that and make sure that you use it to get the best possible price. So the main product in this video that I'm going to be talking about that um, not everybody maybe has is this makeup remover. So it's called Osmosis Plus Color Melt Away Gele, gele, gele. I don't know how you say that, you guys. Eye makeup remover. So, prior to trying this product, I just used face wash and I removed my eye makeup with face wash. I just didn't, um, I just, I'm, I don't know, you guys, I'm not fancy when it comes to stuff. I use the most basic things I can use. I'm kind of lazy and I don't want to spend a lot of time on my makeup or my skincare. I just don't. And I have tried, you know, I do have I'm sure I've got it even here somewhere. I've got this Neutrogena oil-free eye makeup remover. 
Um, but I just don't like to go to that extra hassle of getting a cotton ball, using this and taking my eye makeup off. So I rarely ever use it. Really the only time I use this is if I am wearing um, waterproof uh, mascara because typically just my face wash hasn't been good enough for waterproof mascara. And then the other thing that I use are just cloths that are made for removing eye makeup. I have these, this is new. I've actually never tried this one before. Um, so if this works well in this video, then I'm gonna give you a link to it. But I have these, they're super old, and I shared them in a previous video. They were um, makeup remover cloths that you're supposed to be able to use just with water. This is like the upgraded version of this. And I love them, they work so well. I've never really used them alone without um, like face wash, but they work so well when I use a regular washcloth and I always seem to leave some mascara behind, but when I use those special ones and hopefully this one as well, then it works so great and I don't leave any mascara behind. So I've just loved that. So I'm going to take my wig off. I'm going to take my earrings off and I'm going to show you how I use these products. So let's get going with this. So what I had on was Raquel Weld Straight Up with a Twist in the color Shaded Biscuit. It is a um, modified, it's been cut. I don't know exactly how much because I got it from a wig sister who had already done the modification. So if you're curious about that wig, you're gonna have to go to my regular review to know exactly what it looks like. Okay, so what am I gonna do? I'm gonna use this Jelay Jelay and I'm going to uh, get it on my mascara, my eyes, and I'm going to rub it and that's going to soften up and loosen up all of that. Now, I filmed a couple of videos today, so I have heavy makeup on. I don't normally wear this much makeup on a day to day, but when I'm doing videos, I, you know, because for the video to pick it up. So this is really going to show you how it works removing a heavy face of makeup. If you don't wear a ton of makeup, then you know it'll work fine if it's going to work for heavy makeup. The other thing that I've been using, and this to me was a revelation, um, is coconut oil. That has been unbelievable for my skin. So I have been using just coke. This is plain coconut oil. Um, I'll put the brand in the description. I didn't grab the whole tub of it. It's in my kitchen right now. I just took some and I put it inside this and literally it's all I've been doing is using this on my eyes and this on the rest of my face. Then I take a washcloth and I just sort of wipe it all off and with water. And my skin has never felt or looked better. It is clear. It is soft. It leaves my skin feeling amazing. And it's November and so at this time of year everything's starting to dry out and I can tell in my face that we're heading into winter at this time of year it just doesn't feel great it feels dry and tight my makeup doesn't look great I cannot rave enough about what this is doing for me so between this eye makeup remover which I just love and this stuff is like a miracle it's working so great I'm so excited to show this to you guys so I'm just trying to think of the best way for me to set up my camera. So I'm gonna stop for a second and see how I can get this so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, everyone, this is just gonna have to be awkward because I have a teeny tiny little bathroom. I just have no idea how to best do this. So I'm just gonna lean over and you'll see as much as you can see. And that's just gonna have to be good enough. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna, it, and I've been using this for a while and oh my gosh you guys there's so much left it honestly a little goes such a long way with this and then I just do this so I'm not gonna look beautiful but this is not about me this is about a product so I seriously don't have to use hardly any I'm not digging into it I'm just gently rubbing on the surface not only that but this does not irritate my eyes at all. I mean, I've got no burning, no irritation. I, I mean, I don't have any other product that I can do this with. Not even my um, Neutrogena stuff can I really rub in there and then just open my eyes. Sometimes it bothers my eyes. This stuff does nothing. It just takes the makeup off and it does not bother my eyes at all. So I do that and I'm not rubbing hard, I'm rubbing gentle. I know the eye, skin around the eyes is 
you know, delicate and we want to be careful not to pull or tug and we'll get wrinkles. I just don't spend a lot of time worrying about that. You guys, I just, I find what works and it the easiest possible way to do it. And that's what I do. Okay. So now I took the coconut oil and it's solid because it's coconut oil. And so I took some coconut oil. I just kind of dug my fingers in there and it melts with the warmth of your skin. It melts right away. So now I'm just going to take, and I'm going to rub that all over my face. It feels so amazing. I love it. I'll give you guys some warnings that I've learned in my research, but it's so great. So then all I do, I should have warmed my water up before I did this. So this is going to take a sec for the water to warm up. So while I was doing um, the coconut oil on my face, I think that the eye makeup remover was just working, continuing to work. All right, so now normally what I do is I just lean over my sink and I don't rinse off my washcloth. I just sort of pick it up dripping wet and I wipe off my face. I can't really do that for this, so I'm just gonna wring it out and I'm just gonna start wiping. Of course, I use a black one so you can't see all the makeup on the washcloth, but you can tell it's coming off my face. All right, and one thing I am noticing is my face is looking really red in the camera. It is not looking that red in my mirror. So, you know, cameras pick up some funny stuff. Look at that eye makeup. You saw what I just did. I just basically did this and it's gone. Look at that, it's gone. This stuff, and I had like, I don't know, five coats of mascara on. I mean, I wear tons of mascara for my videos. This towel is amazing. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. I'm gonna have to link this towel for you guys because it's so good. And that is it. I think there's a hair on here. That's it. My skin feels so great. All the makeup's off. Let me um, lift my camera for a second, then I can give you kind of my final thoughts here. All right. So, first of all, my cheeks are not this red <laughs> in my mirror, but I do have rosacea and I have very red cheeks. I've done a makeup video in the past where I've shown you guys what my face looked like before I put makeup on and I'm very uneven skin. So this did not cause my face to be extra red or anything like that. You're gonna have to trust me on that, I know. But those of you who've been around for a while, I think you know, I'm not gonna mislead you guys. I wouldn't, why would I do that? But I just wanted to call that out. It does not look this red. I don't know why my phone camera is picking that up. But I, like I said, I've been doing this for a while now and I feel very confident sharing with you that this is such a great routine. Now, what have I learned that could be concerns about using coconut oil? Um, Cause I've done some research on this. And one of the things I read was if you have very, if you're very prone to breakouts um, and you have oily skin to begin with, coconut oil could exacerbate that because it is kind of a heavy, oily product. I have not experienced that at all, but I also have very dry skin. I don't have oily skin at all. I don't even have an oily T-zone. I'm just dry skinned. And so for me, coconut oil has made my skin glow and feel healthy and not feel, my skin does not feel tight right now. Like it can sometimes feel after I wash my face. It's really been amazing. I have read that for some people, coconut oil can clog pores. I have not experienced that at all, at all. I feel, I, honestly, it feels like, I don't feel like an oily residue on my face after I use it. It does feel like it all comes off but it still feels so good. As far as this eye makeup remover, which is kind of the star, you know, the coconut oil is great, everybody has it. I, honestly, it feels so good on my skin. The skin around my eyes 
feels so nourished and soft. It again, a little goes such a long way with this. And I do get a little bit of makeup in there because I'm redoing this. So I recommend if you don't, maybe don't do it how I just did it. Like I said, I can be lazy with my stuff is you use one finger. And then if you need more, use a separate finger. That way you're not transferring any of your mascara back into the product. Um, other than that, you guys, I love it. It's so great. So, and it works. I have done it with waterproof mascara because I the, tonight I wasn't wearing waterproof mascara, but I have done it with my, waterproof mascara because I wanted to know if it worked and it worked fantastic. Now, what you use for a washcloth to wipe your face off can impact how well stuff comes off your face. So I do recommend looking into uh, some the kind that they say are uh, makeup remover washcloths. And so I will link in the description what I use today. I just bought these. Like I said, I had the other version, which I've had for three years and they're starting to get maybe more than that. And they're starting to kind of get ratty. And so I wanted to just go repurchase those. And I didn't realize that like all I did was go to my former purchase on Amazon, went to the product and repurchased it. I didn't realize that they had changed the product a little bit. This was fantastic though. And I have to believe it's going to last and wash up like the other ones. So I do recommend looking into a type of cloth that will help because it does allow the makeup removers to work better and it um, then it requires less pulling and tugging and rubbing on your face which can be hard on your skin so that's it guys I just wanted to tell you something that's been working for me so well and how awesome that this product that I had fallen in love with is part of the skinstore.com Black Friday sale on sale so it's an opportunity to try it at a discounted price so go into the description to learn more about that thank you so much for being here today for watching for sticking with me if you have any questions let me know i'd be happy to help you and if you're new to my channel i'd love it if you check out some of my other content and see if maybe this is a place you'd like to hang out we've got some really great people here and the comments are always super fun i'll talk to you guys soon take care mm -hmm.